Hello everyone, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're at right now. If I can describe my current thoughts about how WrestleMania 39 is going in one word, it would be underwhelming. The match card is mediocre at best and lousy at worst. Seriously, why is John Cena facing off against Austin Theory for the WWE United States Championship at the event? Should have been non-titled since John Cena is still doing Hollywood as far as I'm aware. Seth vs. Logan is likely going to be a bust. Literally or figuratively. Gunther vs. Drew vs. Sheamus. Eh, seeing a heel turn from Drew. Here y'all. Ad vs. Finn probably will be one of the better matches. The Lose O's vs. Kevin and Sammy. Yeah, same old predictable outcome. No offense, but I can honestly care less about the women's matches. Doesn't mean I'll pass watching them. Maybe I won't. Brock, who has been turned into a joke after his return to WWE in 2021, his days are numbered in his match with Omos. Don't give a crap about the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match. Ray vs. Dominic. We all know how it's going to pan out. Bray Wyatt is currently sidelined with a physical issue. Of course, health comes first and I hope he gets well soon. So we can see him back in WWE programming. And as usual, WWE is giving you false hope. Cody says Roman will be without a family with no more reigns and a chief without a tribe, but it's making it more obvious that Roman is going to retain. Unless, of course, Triple H proves me wrong. I don't know how long Triple H is going to be in control of creative until Vince McMahon screws his company all over again, or someone else far worse than him does it. But as far as I'm concerned, this might be Hunter's last chance to set some wrong things right. I know he made a promise to Vince that Rowan will remain champion until at least this year's WrestleMania, so that would be the perfect opportunity for WD to go from falling from grace to rising up to its former glory. I seriously doubt that's going to happen, but there's a chance. A small chance, yes, but still a chance none nevertheless. Even if every other match bores me half to death, the one thing that would get me genuinely excited and celebrate would be if Roman Disgrace finally drops the titles to Cody and he loses everything, which is fitting for a pure evil heel. But I digress. I am almost 99% certain that it will be the worst WrestleMania in recent years. Worse than last year's WrestleMania. Only time my only time will tell, I suppose. If you have a different take, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your current thoughts on the upcoming WrestleMania 39? Do you suppose it will be good, bad, or a little bit of both? I'm genuinely curious. Until then, this is Briox Studios, and I'm out. Take care everyone.